question 82, you'll notice we are asked to select one of these, okay, to see what this transformation is in relation to figure one, okay. And um, then, you know, whichever one we choose, we've got to then decide um, what the constant is here, you know, P, Q, R, R. Now, what I like to do is to, is to eliminate the ones that it can't be. So, for instance, this is the middle one there, okay, F of X plus Q. Straight away, I know it's not that one, okay, because if you remember, F of X plus Q, it's a shift up or down, isn't it? You know, if Q is a positive constant, then it would be shifted up, okay? So, we'd have the smiley face, but higher up. Clearly, that's not the case here. Or lower down, yeah? If, you know, if Q was negative, the smiley face would be lower down. That's not what's happening here, so it can't be that. I also know it's not going to be the first one, okay? Because in the first one, if you notice, the constant is inside the bracket, and that means it affects the x values, okay? But when you look at the x values, okay, here, then none of them have changed, don't they? You know, that 2 there stayed as a 2, that minus 3 there stayed as minus 3, and that minus 8 there stayed as minus 8. You get the idea, yeah? So it's not the first one. It's going to be the it's going to be this, the last one, okay? It's going to be that one there. R times f of x. So because it's outside of the bracket, definitely going to affect the y values, which is what I wanted to see, okay? Because the x values are unchanged. But with times in, right? It's not a shift. It's not a shift because if it was a shift, you'd be adding something on or taking something away from f of x. You're times in. So we're stretching the graph, right? So the question is, what are we times in by? Okay, now you might think now, oh, hang on a minute now, the y values here haven't changed. The y values haven't changed on the axes. That's what would happen, wouldn't it? Because if you think about it, if you times the y values by a constant, okay, well, when the y value is zero, times zero by a constant is still going to be zero, isn't it? Okay, so that's fine, right? They are not going to change. But notice the minus four has changed to a two. Okay, the y value has changed here. Okay, so it's sort of stretched in some way. It's also flipped, okay, which sort of adds a little bit more interest to this. But what I want to ask you here is what do you do to minus 4 to get it to 2? Okay, what do you do there? Well, think about it. Okay, you, the minus might put you off. Ask yourself to start with what do you do to 4 to get to 2? Well, from 4 to 2, you've got to halve it, haven't you? So you're actually halving 4. To get to 2 all right but the fact also is well is that the signs have changed so not only are we timesing it by half we're also timesing it by minus okay so r in this case is going to be minus a half okay so we've got minus a half f of x okay so you're halving the y values all right so half minus 4 is minus 2 but you're also timesing it by minus 1 and if you times minus 2 by minus 1, you get 2. So when you've got minus in front of f of x, it flips it, right? It reflects it. These, of course, stay the same because when you times 0 by minus a half, it just stays a 0. But it's reflected. It's flipped in the x-axis. So there's a minus there. So the y values change sign. And, of course, it's halved in value as well. Okay?